Now, if you're looking for some faster recipes, I'm sharing some of my favorite 20 minute meals. Now, last week was a little bit different. I actually woke up at three in the morning, drove all the way to the airport because I was going somewhere special. One of my favorite places, Disneyland. I was actually headed to a YouTube conference, but I had a few hours before it started. So a good friend of mine and I spent a few hours eating and enjoying rides. So while I was gone, I decided to get the ingredients for my family so they could make some quick, easy meals. So if you guys are ready, let's just jump right in. The first recipe I'm making is our Disneyland Monte Cristo sandwiches, but they are sliders. You guys are gonna love them. For this recipe, I have a container of turkey and some ham. You need both, because that's how sliders are made, right? Then I love King's Hawaiian rolls for my sliders. A raspberry jam, Dijon mustard. This is our mayonnaise, a little bit of butter, one egg. Hey guys, don't eat me alive. We're gonna call it Worcestershire sauce because that's how my mom says it, so Worcestershire. <laughs> and then we have some Swiss cheese. And the thing that might sound weird that we need is powdered sugar, but if you know, you know. All right, we're gonna start by spraying our nine by 13 pan with some cooking spray. Next, it's time to cut the sliders in half. And for this, I'm just gonna use a bread knife and just try as carefully as I can to get right in the middle on both sides. Sometimes it comes out uneven and you know what? It still works, it's okay. So I'm gonna peel off my top and I'm gonna put my bottom right into the pan. All right, next we're gonna take the raspberry preserves. I'm gonna put about a half a cup on the bottom of this. Then we're just gonna spread it on the bottom. Now I know what you're thinking. If you've never had a Monte Cristo, this sounds weird to have the raspberry jam, but I'm telling you, it will change how you eat your sliders. All right, so we have about a half pound of ham and a half pound of turkey. Now I know that seems like a lot, but we want a lot of layers on these sliders. You guys can hear my dog. He knows I am working with ham right now. <laughs> He's just whining. Oh, poor buddy. All right, so I'm doing all the ham first. Then we'll add the turkey. All right, time for the turkey. And you're welcome. A beautiful shot of my belly. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be like that for a while. Okay, we have our turkey and our ham and our jam. Now it's time for Swiss cheese. Now if you don't like Swiss cheese, you can use other cheese too, but the Swiss cheese just gives it that Mmm, Monte Cristo taste. All right, we're just gonna set this to the side and now we're going to melt some butter. So we have a fourth cup of butter that we're gonna melt. Nice, then we have about one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Gotta shake that up a little. I hate when you get the juice, you know what I'm talking about. About a tablespoon or so. And one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of mayonnaise. And then one egg. Then you're just gonna whisk that all together. Now I know what you're thinking, this is a weird mixture. Just trust me on this, trust me, okay guys? And you're gonna take the mixture and brush it on the top part of your buns. It's gonna be a little bit thicker. Almost looks like it's a thick, thick Dijon mustard. Once it's on, you can go ahead and put it on to your sliders. All right, now this recipe calls for actually another one fourth cup of butter because we need to butter our tops so they won't burn because we've got to cook the inside of those rolls, cook that egg. So we want to butter these up nice and yes. I was gonna say juicy. I don't know if that's the right word to say. Just nice and buttery. There you go. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna bake these 325, 15 to 20 minutes. All right, we just pulled these out. Now for my favorite part. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar on top. All right, we have, what's your name, dear? Sarah. Sarah here, ready to try out the slider. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, good bite. Thumbs up, thumbs down to the side. What do you think? Okay. Oh, thumbs down. That's too bad, because this is a thumbs up five best lighter ever so you might think differently huh i love it now the next recipe i'm making is our chicken alfredo gnocchi bake now i love this because the gnocchi 
cooks so quickly that it just speeds up everything else. Now to make this 30 minutes or less, you need two packages of pre-made gnocchi. Then we like to use just canned Alfredo. It, again, you can make homemade, but if you're looking for a 30 minute meal, Alfredo sauce already made is the way to go. You need a little bit of sour cream, some ricotta cheese, two cups of shredded chicken, then you need some mozzarella, Parmesan cheese, and I'm cheating with the real bacon pieces, but you can cook up bacon if you want to. Okay, we're gonna put our gnocchi in. And here's the secret with gnocchi that's already pre-made. You are going to put it in boiling water and then you're going to cook it for about two minutes or until it rises to the top. Now, gotta kind of break it apart a little. While we're waiting for the gnocchi to cook, we're gonna start making the sauce. So we have 16 ounces of Alfredo sauce, about one cup of ricotta cheese, and I'm just gonna add this whole container because I love ricotta. <laughs> then about a half cup of sour cream, you guys know me, I eyeball a lot, but I feel like sour cream and cheeses are a little more forgiving. And we're just gonna mix this together until it's well combined. All right, now we're gonna add about one cup of mozzarella cheese. And let's go check on that gnocchi, I think it's done. All right, so the secret with gnocchi is once it floats to the top, you wanna get it out of there. We don't want to cook it any longer than we have to, so I have my little gadget so we can drain out the water. Just ignore my dishes, we live here. I'm just going to dump this right in. We've gotta stop them from continuing to cook. Okay, and just mix this in. Now before we mix too much, we're actually gonna add our chicken in here too. Ooh, I suggest getting a big bowl for this one. <laughs> so we have our nine by 13 pan here. We're gonna spray with some cooking spray. Now it's time for the good stuff. We're just gonna dump it all in there. So you're just gonna spread this out so it's as even as you can get it. Then we're gonna take our Parmesan cheese and kind of just sprinkle that on top. You know, we need more cheese in this dish. <laughs> I love cheese. And then just a little bit of bacon bits on top. So you're gonna bake this at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Well, the taste tester didn't want to try this one, but I love gnocchi, so. Mm. That is good. I'm gonna give this one a four and a half just because it's just not as good as the sliders. <laughs> and the last recipe I'm making is our mini chicken pot pies. I love these because they literally come together in about 20 minutes. All right, for this recipe, you're gonna need some mixed vegetables some cheddar cheese. Mm, you guys know I love my cheese. We have some onion powder, garlic salt, and normal salt. Two cans of biscuits. I like to use Grand's biscuits because they're a little bit bigger. One can of cream of chicken soup, and then some cooking spray. And of course, you need some chicken. Now, I love using this already pre-cooked, pre-shredded chicken, or you can use rotisserie chicken, or you can cook some chicken in your Instant Pot, but I love the stuff that's already cooked. So I put my cup and a half or two cups of chicken already in here. It was nice and hot. Next we're gonna add one can of cream of chicken soup. Oh guys, it's not coming. There we go. Then about a cup or so of cheddar cheese or a little bit more, that's how we work here. Okay, then we have a package of vegetables. So we have about a teaspoon of onion powder and then about a teaspoon of salt or garlic salt. I'm just out of garlic salt, so we're using salt today. Then you're just going to mix this all together. Now you can add other things too, like fresh onion or whatnot, but we're trying to, on those busy, busy nights, trying to make some meals that are just super fast that you can throw together. All right, so I have my muffin tin, and we're just gonna spray a little bit of non-stick cooking spray in the bottom of each one, just so it'll make your life easier. All right, decided this is the worst part about biscuits or anything in a can. Okay, then we're gonna take a little biscuit and we're gonna spread it out just a little bit, put it into the bottom of each muffin tin. All right, we have filled it all with our biscuits. Now we're going to just spoon in some of the chicken pot pie and I like mine overflowing just a little bit. So we filled up this 12, and then we also added four more to another one because we had a lot of chicken. Okay, we're gonna cook these at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. Now my kids ate these so quickly that they didn't even have time to rate them. Like when I came home, they were gone. So that being said, I think they were a five. Now I did spend the majority of the time at a conference, but I just have to say, I was the coolest mom for just like 
two seconds. They wanted me to say hi. I hope you have a good day. All right, guys, if you want more simple, easy recipes, I got plenty for you. You can find them just right up there. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.